Hello, I'm Ken. Welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how to use clip paths to achieve custom designs. And today we're going to be looking at the design of um, a very a good designer I know on Dribble. He's got this amazing shot. He's Sergi and you should follow him. He's amazing. Uh, so it's quite um, simple to do rounded edges and flutter. But I think the part we're interested in is this arc right here. And after doing some Google search, I came upon Clip Path. Now, clipping a path is quite expensive, so it's recommended that you use the prepackaged widgets such as Clip Rectangle, Clip Oval, and Clip Rounded Rectangle. But then, if you want something quite specific, like we've got here, then would have to use Clip Path. So uh, without further ado, let's just jump into uh, the project that I've already set up here. So all I've got is uh, a centered text that says uh, clip path, for example, and then a floating action button uh, with an icon of email here. All right, so we're going to do everything from scratch. Now, what we're going to do now is just use an extension that I love. It's called Colorzilla. All right. Uh, so we can mimic not exactly the, the exact uh, design we have here, but then we want to be very close. All right. So what this is going to do is we're going to sample the, the colors here. So you just uh, use this point to find the appropriate color here I, I, this looks like a gradient but then let's just pick a color right so we're going to do this it's copy the clipboard and then we're going to cop uh, copy it into uh, our project now i'm going to do this and then get back and also the picture so what we can do is i've got this handy tool here built into windows uh, we can just uh, copy the picture here and then uh, save it into our project all right I, I already have it saved so um, i'm not going to bore you with that so yeah i think that's it so let's just jump right into it so uh we're going to show our modal when the floating action button is pressed all right so this is where we want to begin our implementation all right okay so you can find all of the colors that i prepared beforehand uh, using the color picker tool. Okay, let's, let's just return a confirmation modal. All right. Now, uh, bear in mind that this wid widget hasn't been created yet. We're going to do that. So, if we look at this uh, layout of this container here, which contains a column of two containers uh, is stacked with this other container which I think is should should be a, a circle avatar okay, so you can see the model now but then it's weird that's because I only set um, the, the barrier color that's what you see here but then this container contains nothing all right let's just make it show something so first of all I think I can just add some padding here and let's try to make this container color of red and see what happens Okay, so now we can see our container with the padding that we had. Um, you can use a measuring tool, like measure it to uh, measure um, like the, the dimensions of this design. But then for the sake of time, we're not going to do that. We're just going to eyeball it. Right, so moving on. Let's wrap this uh, container with... Uh, And a clip path needs a clipper. And this clipper, hmm, 
let's call it custom clip path okay it hasn't been created yet so let's just create a class custom clip path we're missing two overrides let's just implement that okay Right. This. And let's make the color uh, background color. Right. So, right, so we have two containers. Now let's just wrap that in an expanded widget. So let's position this mm, container. I can give it a child of circle avatar. Let me put this icon. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. All right. Let's just. Uh, maintain it there and now focus on a clip in this container here all right the double let's set a radius radius is equal to 15.0 um, let's instantiate a path all right so the first position that we want to start with okay so let's invocate this method called line 2 now what it does let's just look at the docs it's going to add a straight line segment from the current position to the given point all right position to be to start from um, the radius that we set all right and then the end should be zero right. and now we're going to make the arc so path dot we use a method called arc to point. Yeah, this is what we want. Now the arc end is of type offset. Right now this offset requires an x and y value, and we we'll just start with set so the clockwise. A parameter to false right so it's going to go anti-clockwise and then set the radius of the arc to radius dot circular radius all right so here it's going to start from here and then end here all right so the starting point is here uh, 15 0 all right, y is zero here and x is 15 here. Now the end is going to be uh, this offset that we've set, which is uh, x is zero, x is zero, and y is 15, right, because we set the radius to 15. So the end is somewhere here. Starting point here and here. Let's see what that looks like. We need to return the path. So I'm going to just come right here and turn path here. Okay. Alright, so you see that? So it gave us a nice curve down here and up here. So next 
other part would be so we want the point the starting point to be somewhere here all right so that would be the full width here all right so let's just make a size of width and then the y should be <coughs> about 30 points from from the from zero all right so let's just do 30 and let's create our end arc so offset now the size should be <coughs> is the end arc all right so we want the arc to end up here somewhere here all right so let's say 50 points from the full width so let's take away 50 from the full width and it should be on the y-axis so at the very top zero and let's set the clockwise property to true because we want the arc to move this way, all right? It should curve inside, not outwards, like uh, the other edges. So that should be true. And the radius should be, just like here. Now, we want it to be bigger than this radius here. So let's set it to, let's say 30. No, no, missing colon here, okay. yay yay but we're getting there all right so you can adjust this as much as you want mm, let's see I'm just, yeah. so let's just make this button a bit bigger where is it okay so let's change the radius change the radius to 22 yeah, looks okay. Let's adjust this a bit more. It's oh, I moved 15 up. Too much, too much. And then shift to 17. got a column here with two expanded uh, containers all right so let's just put these design elements in the container that we've uh, designed right so at this point i'm going to speed code and save your time uh, because styling elements and making layouts and flutter is fairly easy if you get stuck you can slow down the video pause or check out the source code in the description below.
so after playing with the styling for a bit this is the end product so uh, you can play with it yourself the main point of this tutorial was to show you how to clip a container um, according to a specific design that you want now one more thing that I need to point out is uh, clip shadow so it's uh, quite cumbersome to add shadows to clipped paths so this package really uh, makes it very easy okay all you have to do to add a shadow is wrap uh, your container in this uh, widget right from the package and just um, give it a settings for a shadow and then you have it here so that's it and I hope that you enjoyed it and it was helpful. If you didn't enjoy it, please leave comments as to how we can make this better. Uh, please like and subscribe and support the channel so I can continue to make more videos. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.